Since I met you, baby, my whole life has changed. the same Now I don't need nobody Tell my troubles to I don't need nobody To tell my troubles to I don't need no other baby Ted's would be a kayak and canoe rental place only. That's all I had in mind. We always called it Ted's Worms. Yeah, and we really thought with the proximity of the river we'd sell bait and tackle and rent boats. And um, But you have to be here at 6.30 in the morning if you want to do that. <laughs> that was the problem. <laughs> and so, um, and you know, I think you probably had visions of sitting on the porch playing your guitar while people just bought stuff. Uh-huh. And um, the music plan took off and the buying stuff kind of didn't. We still do it. I still rent. I rented two canoes yesterday. The first day I was down here, I had a pot of decaf coffee and a pot of regular coffee and I was just waiting for somebody to come in the door. And I believe on my first day here, I made, it was under $2 I made off the store. And I thought, hmm, I might have made a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, Julia said, well, let's take the piano on down, and we did. The music was an afterthought. The place really isn't big enough to have music in, but, uh, but we do, and it works. And it really has grown organically because we didn't say, well, let's do music. We just suddenly were doing music, and then we were doing more music. So it, it did organically evolve. We started playing here and then let our friends play here and uh, offered dollar coffee and a couple of dollar beers and it grew from there. And then other people wanted to play and now, you know, we're booking tour and acts. But, and we every night that we're open, we have music. The reason the place is named Ted's is because Ted was my childhood nickname. And, we, and Julia has always called me Ted. And it was also my father's childhood nickname. There's no Theodore, no good reason for it. It just happens to be. It's one of those quirky Southern things. Mm -hmm. We started as, as a duo. It was just the two of us, piano and guitar and vocals. And then we ran into Woody Dobson, who I had been playing with off and on since I was 17. So he came back to town and we started playing together. So that became the trio. So it's kind of... <laughs> heartwarming, you know, and it's kind of giving a piece of Americana that has been lost along the way, I think. If, if Norman Rockwell were still living, I think he'd be a regular here. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably right. Now, since I met you, baby, I'm one happy man. Since I met you, baby, I'm one happy man. I'll do anything to please you, ha, anything I can. Thank you, folks. Thanks for being here.